And the enforcement of the lockdown order falls on the security agencies in the state. A senior correspondent Ivy Kanu joined the police joint enforcement team and now reports. The officers had gathered as early as 5 o'clock in the morning. The joint exercise is to ensure the 14-day lockdown is strictly adhered to by residents of the state. The enforcement officers are expected to leave from the police command, but before then, they are expecting the commission of police to brief them on rules of engagement for the leave for the operation. In no time, the commissioner arrived. Addressing the main at the Lagos command, he said they should ensure the directives of the president is carried out. While listing those exempted, he cautioned them to be humane in the discharge of their duties. Be advocates, be an imam, be a pastor, preach to them, persuade them, let them know that it is their life that we want them to preserve. At the Yeropaja area of the state, some motorists were seen and they were interrogated to confirm if they fell with the essential duty category. Where is the letter that you are on duty? It's harder to establish something that's on duty. Not all staff will be on duty at the time. Yes, I don't have any relationship. They are not to be on the road. The team also made a stop at border area between Ogun and Lagos. Here, a team of police officers were already stationed. Not done, they again moved to Beja area of the state. They were greeted by a long queue formed by vehicles coming from outside Lagos. There's a way here, just turn from here. They don't to enter Lagos. They will turn this area and go back straight to where they're coming from. Okay. The commissioner said the next 48 hours is crucial to the success of the lockdown. To check for compliance and enforcement ended today here at Beja. That's that's. Uh, the barricade between Lagos State and Ogun State. And the Commission of Police have left words for some of those who were caught up last night after 11 p.m. when the enforcement started proper, that he'll profile all of them. And for those trailers carrying petroleum products, they may be allowed to find their way into Lagos State. Ivy Kano, TVC News, Lagos.